Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first team of the season video of FC24. And we are finally all caught up with everything prior to team of the season. Obviously, I released the foot birthday and then the Golasso videos. So those should be up by the time you watch this. Uh, but let's get right into it. Uh, first things first that I would like to address is run the foot markets video so i just i'm currently in the process of watching it i'm about like three-fourths of the way in and what i can say about it is that he is absolutely right um it is a dangerous path that ea has gone through with allowing these promo packs that guarantee promo cards into the game at a very high cost you've seen me pump uh money into this game at certain points of the t uh at certain points during fifa which you know technically isn't called fifa but yeah you get the idea the store is handing out packs that contain promo cards since uh since when maybe team of the year maybe before then i honestly cannot remember um it probably was before winter wildcard now that i think about it because that's where Enzo's, that's where we got our Enzo from. But, you know, now that we are basically into team of the season, you know, it, it's very scary to, you know, show to you guys um, that, you know, you get some decent packs from, you know, spending money, which is why the Road to Glories, the uh, Poor Man Road to Glories, you know, the free-to-play type of accounts are kind of like the the big the big thing for a lot of the common folk just because you know once you spend the money on the game that's the only amount of money that you spend per year versus like other content creators that you know have two accounts one is their main grind account and the other one's their spending account to see you know what what you could get from these store packs and what i will say about my account specifically is that i have the luxury of putting some money into into this game every now and then or whenever i feel like it obviously not everybody is in that position and if you are not in that position i would 100 percent say to stay away from the uh, promo packs from those store packs you know uh, throughout the game you are more than likely going to pack big things from the recycled um spcs that ea drop every now and then from the upgrade packs you know uh, i forget which twitter account it is but there's a there's a fifa twitter account uh user that literally just does one daily upgrade every day for the entire cycle and as much as he hasn't like hit uh super big players like back to back to back he still consistently is getting good enough rewards from just doing a daily gold upgrade um so that's literally worth more than like going to the going to the promo pack store section of the game and just unloading a bunch of money onto a basically a casino where you know if you claim that you won you don't really win because you don't get that money back you don't make double your money you know i packed in one of the in the uh what is it the for birthday video i literally packed uh, Cole Palmer, who's like 2.3 mil, but I don't get to see any of that 2.3 mil, right? He just goes down in price and I just keep that card untradeable. There is no upside with like spending, um, not spending, selling him for coins and then buying him later. I don't get that luxury um, with those cards, with those types of packs because they're all untradeable. That's that's the dangerous part because you there's no way to get your money back there. Um, but luckily i'm in the position to be able to do that so if you are not please don't do that and if you are almost getting into the process of doing that you know there's there's a bunch of resources online to help you with uh gambling so you know i may or may not start putting a disclaimer for gambling either in the beginning of the video in the middle or at the end or whenever there's like a a promo pack that i that i buy that i end up opening for you guys um I might end up doing that just just so you know like this isn't uh, 
you know it can be it can turn into an unhealthy habit because you know this is a game that we all grew up playing this is a game that we love to just like want to play a good football game you know like the gameplay i will say as much as a lot of people complain about the gameplay and how every tactic and all that stuff is played you know when the gameplay and connection is like crisp and top tier and everything and it plays like how every other normal multiplayer game is supposed to play like this game is a decent enough football simulator compared to like anything else we have out there or anything else that's supposedly coming up to like help out you know there's a was it the ufl or something like that that was supposed to be or that is supposed to be the next quote-unquote fifa game that's supposed to be rivals with this um you know there's a couple others pez is now eFootball and eFootball as much as uh, some content creators like to say that this is better that eFootball is better than FIFA it really does not touch it like whatsoever and you know it might be it might be my bias because I've played FIFA for so many years but when I played Pez some some years ago when I played the eFootball recently like the gameplay is even worse than FIFA is at times and that's just not a great experience um, and even with eFootball having like less less players than, than FIFA is a, is a big thing too so you know for the time being FIFA FC 24 FC 25 is all we're gonna have for the time being you know it's better to uh, grind it out if you can't if you can't put money in uh, I would say don't put money in. There's a lot better things in this world, in this life that you should be putting your money in. And it's definitely not FIFA. Um, so that that is my one piece for um, for you guys that, you know, it's taking up most of the video, but it's fine. You know, it's a very important thing to, to, to tell you guys like, hey, you shouldn't ever put money into a video game that goes through a, a yearly cycle, you know. Something like Fortnite, sure, every now and then, because that's that game has been ongoing for several years now. There has no like, there's no reset, right? Your skins aren't gone and then they come back. But for FIFA, it, that's basically what happens, right? You buy skins, they leave, they come back because you're essentially getting a different game. Um, so there's that, um, which you know it's it's fair that I got criticized that uh, very early on in this World to Glory when I when I bought my first promo pack. Um, but you know, to me, it was like, Hey, if I can do it, I will. But you know, as much as this game might not be the best, it's still one of my favorite hobbies to like have around, even just to like collect the cards or whatever, you know, every year it's literally a different squad that gets filled out, which I, I personally enjoy. And it's attached to real world football the entire time. So, I mean, it's kind of tough to be the competitor to FIFA. But hopefully at some point, you know, maybe there maybe there will be one and it'll be way better. And we'll all, you know, forget about FIFA and just be nostalgic about it instead of, you know, still actively complaining. Uh, but to end off the video, Kai Havertz, obviously, got a team of the season. Love the Sheik, as you saw, also got a team of the season. And we put him into the Evo. And we got Myra Ramirez, the Chelsea women's striker. She got a team of the season. Super easy to complete. And... Uh, thankfully, we were able to get her done. Uh, and with that being said, I will see you guys for the Prem Team of the Season uh, in the next video. I will see you guys. Peace.